It's the Shore Showdown of the Year in girls lacrosse. Rumps and Fairhaven has owned the league for nine years, but they had a serious threat on the other side of the field. Trinity Hall won a Prep B state title one day earlier. They were tied 3-3 at the half with Rumson. Now here's the perspective. The last time RFH lost in Shore Conference play, Barack Obama was president, there was a new movie called The Avengers in theaters, and Maroon 5 topped the charts with Payphone. That's the way back machine. RFH opens up the second half strong. Chase Boyle with the feed to Hope Elliott Van Nice. Her second goal of the game, Rumpson with a 4-3 lead early in the second. Then it's Chase Boyle from eight meters. She goes straight to goal and drops it in. Rumpson Fairhaven with a two goal edge. It's 5-3 Bulldogs. RFH had all the momentum. Looking to go up three, Trinity Hall goalie Isabel Darman comes up with a huge save. That's a big moment in the game. Darman turns the tide with one of her 10 stops. On the other end, the ball on the turf is picked up by sophomore Pate McGuire, who lets it rip. The Monarchs are energized. It's 5-4, Rumson in front. Paige Nolan was tremendous in this big stakes game. Nolan with her third of the game on the eight meters. 8.55 to go, we're all tied up at five apiece. Boyle is near automatic from the free position. It's a five point game for Chase Boyle. Rumson takes the lead back at six to five. Rumson neutralized Haven Dora, who came into this game with 41 goals, but Nolan and Peyton McGuire stepped up. It's McGuire scoring again. She's new to high school lacrosse, but Peyton is seasoned. She made the prestigious Under Armour 150 last summer. Three goals for Peyton McGuire. It's tied up at six. Mia James and Haven Dora locked horns all night. James able to find an opening and deliver a laser. She slams to the turf, but it was worth the physical toll. What a shot by Mia James. With 4.50 to go, Rumson Fairhaven has the lead again. It's seven to six. Back and forth we go. Tremendous talent on the field. Another huge moment comes here. Paige Nolan, the pen commit. Chase Boyle heading to Loyola. This is two of the best in New Jersey. Boyle looking to lock down Nolan. Casey Kiernan comes up with a save, but we've got a whistle first. Chase Boyle gets a yellow card for taking down Nolan. There's just 2.15 left in the game. Chase Boyle is out for the next two minutes. Nolan from the eight meters makes it count. Paige Nolan's fourth goal is Mammoth. 2.12 to go, Trinity Hall ties the game at seven. They're a man up for the next 157, and the Trinity faithful are feeling something special about to happen. Rumson gains possession on the draw, and we spotlight this critical moment. Haven Dora, no goals, no points, shows why there's more than goals to play great lacrosse. Look at this, Dora with a perfect stick check to jar the ball loose. It's gonna take a moment, but Haven Dora gains possession, giving Trinity Hall the chance to take the lead in crunch time. You know, the box score is gonna show Haven Dora being shut out, but this is the kind of play that makes you a national level prospect. And it sets the stage for this. Mary Kate Allingham, the high pass. McGuire's got it on the doorstep. Her fourth goal of the game, one of the biggest moments in Trinity Hall history. Take another look. This one actually goes off a stick, but McGuire concentrates, and she's not gonna miss from that short range. 132 to go, Trinity Hall up eight to seven. Boyle is still out, she can't take the draw, and it's Paige Nolan gaining possession, and that allows Trinity Hall to run out the clock. Rumson's 127 game win streak is truly remarkable. It lasted nine years and three days. Eight to seven is your final. The Shore's two best teams show that they're worthy of top 10 rankings in the state polls. Trinity Hall, a perfect nine and zero, oh, and after the game, they were well aware of what they accomplished, ending the streak. I still can't believe it. Like this was our goal since our season ended last year because of COVID. This is the game we've been looking forward to, and I just can't believe we won. I still can't believe it. I've played Rumson since we've started, and it's always been kind of one-sided and. Uh, we, I respect their program. I think that they have a great coach. They have a great team. We knew it was going to be hard, but these girls have worked so hard, and we've been waiting for this. You know, it's been, it's been a long time coming. It felt amazing. I couldn't have done it without my team. Like they mean so much to me, and, and we played so well together. And I, and I just really value that as a Trinity Hall Monarch. 
I think everyone in New Jersey knows about Trinity Hall lacrosse right now. I hope they do. It feels amazing. I mean, we're a great team, and I don't think anyone knew, but tonight and from now on, they're going to know who we are. We can only hope to see these two great teams rematch in the Shore Conference Championship. In Rumson, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.